this ghost stole my Shrek 2 DVD, I was going to be so pissed off. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Flames Plays and today we are checking out the Horrors Lost Tape Demo, an indie horror game available over on issue. I'll have a link in the description box down below, as well as links to my Discord, Patreon, and Twitter. If you'd like to check any of those out, we'll click on Play Demo. Here's a rare video of that area. In 2009, there was one male student missing there. Strangely, what he left behind was a videotape in which there was a very strange woman. Very strange. I need to find out what happened. I'm oh, sorry. I need to find out what happened. There's an exclamation point, which if I don't accentuate that, makes, makes it sound like I'm reading a script, which I basically was doing. I'm gonna be honest. I do not envy VCRs or VHS tapes. I, I guess envy. I, I, do, I remember them. I remember watching VHS tapes as a kid. Um, but like most of the time when I think of like movies I enjoy, they're on DVD. Usually DVDs that I have purchased. I honestly cannot remember the last time I actually saw a VHS tape in person. Like I watch Tecmo and stuff like that, so I've seen VHS tapes. Uh, Brutal Moose has the, uh, his VHS series as well, but just, oh, whoa, very, very sensitive game. There we go. It's a little better. We got drawers. Can't open them. What is that? I can't see what that is. Oh, I want to get it. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, I think it's this thingy. Oh, what's this? Man, I'm just like a, a cat, basically. Just looking around, darting around, going, what's this? Is that lotion on a book in the bedroom? Nope. Okay, we're out. Let's go. Okay, shift lets me run. Found that by accident. One minute to ten. And a calendar that says 2014. And a game that takes place in 2009. How do they know what the what the dates are going to be in the future? I'm kidding. I understand that calendars are circular. Are circular. Uh, the years. Like every... I forget how many, date, how many years it is. But then also you got to calculate for leap year. There's a bunch of things. But anyway. This calendar for 2014 should not be in a 2009 uh, themed game. And developer, I would like to have a strong discussion with you about that. There's doors. Let's go check out doors. That's locked. That's locked. Did I lose? Oh, that one I came and interact with. Doesn't it make a lock sound or not? There's a box that I can't open. Damn. There's another box. There's another door though. No, there are two doors. I can't interact with that door. I can't interact with the phone. Okay, cool. Well, that's just fun and dandy, I guess. We have a box of DVDs. That are in Russian? Oh my god! Holy crap, that's Shrek 2! Oh, Russian Shrek 2. I mean, what else do we need? Is this a VH VHS? Or a VCR? VHS, jeez. I must said VHS player like an, a complete idiot. No, this is a DVD player though. So yeah, we can... Okay, thankfully we can watch Shrek 2 on DVD. Is Shrek 1 in here? Because uh, if we don't have Shrek 1, but we have Shrek 2, there's a bit of a problem. But it's fine. Uh, guy lie. A male student has been mysteriously killed in a university dormitory. More strangely, oh man, a lot of strange things going on here. More strangely, next to the body is a flashlight and a camcorder that has been badly damaged. And okay, I can open this up and pick up goot, get goot, goot. I got, I, I have gout. Basically, is what I'm understanding from this so far. The game just gave me gout. I really can't read what these other DVDs are. I really wish I could tell. Uh, oh well. We All we know is Shrek 2. Shrek is love, Shrek is life. We're fine. Ooh. Ooh. Did I do that? Okay, I think I did that. Oh, wow. Okay, so the, yeah, the the action trigger for that door is very far from from where it actually is. And my bedroom door is locked, which means somebody broke in. Somebody broke in and is locking my doors. That's not cool. Alright, that door's locked now. Can I interact with anything else? Put something in the DVD player, maybe? Or open these drawers? I can still open this drawer. That's good. That's fine. That's perfect. That's all we need to do. We, all we need is a drawer we can open a Shrek 2 on DVD. The, collect, the director's cut. Why is this light so bright? Okay. Taking a look around and see if I'm missing anything. Something else I can interact with. Whoa. 
There's some knocking going on. Where's that coming from? It'd be the front door, I would think. But I don't know where the front door is. Oh! Okay. Cool. Phone's ringing now. Awesome. You guys feeling that? You guys feel what I feel? I'm feeling PT. And the light's flickering now. That's great. Let's go check. Oh, God. Okay, yep. Yeah, that's that's a flashing strobe light. Let's go ahead and try to back into whatever that is. Okay, or we could just turn around. There's a cutscene where that flickers like crazy. Awesome. Good. So, great, so glad that happened. I'm going to include a little warning for that now. It's all pitch black. Let's check to see what we got, though. Well, these doors are still locked. This light's still on. That's... That's good. Why did that open? Alright. So here's the deal. I played PT. I know what to expect. As I get closer to this door, there's gonna be a jump scare. Hello? There we go. I will admit, that got me a little tiny bit. Okay, the, the scare's over. The music can stop, please. Alright. Fantastic. This door opens. This door is no longer locked. Is there- why are there so many newspapers here? Okay, phone's ringing again. Oh! There's a note. You are next. I keep closing that door by complete accident. You are next. Uh, did you mean you're next? The- the- the movie? I actually- I love that movie. It's, it's a really good one, I think. If you haven't seen your next, you should check it out. Plays on the uh, the tropes of the helpless victim pretty well. Okay, we open this door now. Has some really cool deaths too in it. Super enjoyable movie. The hell? Okay, if we if we don't know who this is, or if we don't actually have a close relationship with this person, this is just creepy. This is like some Helga level stuff. I can offer biscuits. Okay. Hey, picture frame. You want some biscuit? Oh, that's what. It oh, gout is biscuits. That's not what gout is to me, but it's fine. Okay. That was a creepy sound. Can I open up these drawers? No. No. Oh, this one I can. Can. There's a piece of paper. But I can't read what that says. Okay. That's cool. There's a lot of whispers going on. Can I... Oh! Okay, that was me. Can I open this door? No, I can't. Not yet, at least. Um, my bedroom door's still locked. It's still one minute to, to ten o'clock. Let's go ahead and see where that door leads me to. I, I'm assuming it's gonna be this... I think I assumed correctly. Where you think you're going? Where you think you're going? Okay, a little bit of translation issues in this. That's fine. This is a demo. It's, it's a basic understanding of what the game is about, and what the game is about is a PT similar style game. I don't want to say rip off because this does seem to askew the whole looping hallway thing. Instead. We wake up in the exact same room. Okay, <laughs> never mind. This might be a looping hallway game for all I know. Oh, this is closed now, though. This wasn't closed before. Oh, good to know our lotion bottle's still there. All right. Oh, let's go out out this door. Very dirty. Like there's dust floating around and stuff. Very again, very PT style. All right. Nope. Nope. Nothing there. All right. Let's check out the this room then. Can I go here? Nope. Still can't. There's something whispering as I get near the phone. There is. Oh. Okay. We gotta make sure that Shrek 2 is still there. Oh, thank God. Whew. I was gonna say if this ghost stole my Shrek 2 DVD, I was gonna be so pissed off. Let's check to see if we got biscuits. We don't have biscuits. Okay, biscuits are still missing. Or, or biscuits are now missing. Biscuits have been offered to the ghost. 
Oh, phone's ringing. Is there something running? Oh. Why did you have to have a cutscene for that? Like, I feel like that would have been way more effective if I had turned around and the ghost was there, or I turned the corner, because... So, the thing that's effective about horror, in video games, for sure, is that the player has control. So you want to try to guide the player towards the experiences. If you had, say, turned, or uh, the phone call, the laughter, and had all and forced all the doors closed and then no matter what door opened something scary was behind it that had been good i guess you're more what you wanted to have a streamline for the a streamline experience for the demo that's fine but there's some typos this is very pt-esque and there's no surprise on that one a lot of pt style games have come out since the heyday the initial concept of PT, playable teaser. It was a fantastic game. I loved it. I'm still annoyed that they took it off the PlayStation Network, but that's 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 not for this video. But I enjoyed this. I could see um, with some expansion and maybe fixing a few problems I had with it, it, it being pretty good. I'd like to see how this continues on. Maybe you get rid of the looping hallway idea and make the house a little bigger. I think we're in a house. Maybe it's a condo. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's an apartment or some kind of building. I don't really. I, I don't know. I, oh, it was a dorm. Duh, it was in the story. I just never remember that. Okay, so it's a dorm room. That's a big ass dorm room. I just never realized. Okay, anyway. But let me know what you all thought about the horrors in the comments down below. Give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate that. And also make sure to subscribe so you get updates for this new content. And as always, have a great day. Remember to burn bright. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.